Uh, the case is going to get good because it's going to kind of bring in that weirdo lawyer that tried to get me to do this to him um, for an exchange of payment because it's a sexual kink with these guys. Okay, so watch this. French media personality Gerard Miller investigated over fr uh, rape claims, right? Prosecutors have received six complaints against Miller 75 dating from between 1995 and 2005. Before we go on, I want to talk about hypnosis for a second. Nobody can be hypnotized into having sex with somebody. However, somebody could be hypnotized into being totally relaxed and if they were drinking and then him doing something. Oh, for sure. Uh, it would have to be a combo of things because it's just somebody like trying to relax you and you're talking and you're um, going into, it's like a meditation, basically. If you've meditated, tell me, can you be raped in the middle? I mean, get you to go do something and rape somebody in the middle of meditation? No, it's helpful in things like stopping smoking or something. It's like anything, because if you do meditation, what are you trying to do? You're trying to de-stress, right? So you, you have a purpose that you're wanting to do, right? And so when you're in the middle of doing those type of things, it could be helpful because you're trying to do something. You want to do those things, right? Nobody can hypnotize you out against your will to make you go do things and bark like a dog. That is theatrical television. That does not happen. It can be used, though, to aid in somebody being in a cult. But again, you're open to what they're doing, right? There's a different mindset to that where you're like, I'm going to be involved in Scientology, do whatever you want to me, and I'm going to follow. And then they can abuse you in some which way, shape, or form from that. But they can't make you do something against your will. It's just, that's not a thing. I think that goes back to hokey pokey, uh, freaking you know, the devil crap and, you know, all that, that, that nonsense from eons ago. Okay. I just want to make that clear, but you're going to see this guy, he's a pervert and he's using hypnosis to rape people, like a situation to get him relaxed. Cause what is the thing that a rapist would want to do? He wants to get you with your, you know, guard down, right? Okay. So this would be a perfect thing for him, but he's also turned on by the fact of getting somebody, um, the idea, okay, of this thing is it gets somebody where he gets to control them in their mind. Okay, so this is the part of their um, thing on this thing um, when it's used to prey on someone, um, which they call a kink. But I just, some of this stuff is just, you know. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of men into this, believe it or not. That's why I was like, why is Nygaard's friends like all up in the hypnosis school, right? And I just think the public is just so ignorant to like everything, everything, everything. And the state bar was just like, hey, you know, it's no big deal that some fucking pervert lets into, you know, being hypnotized is like trying to proposition you into doing it to him instead of paying 350 an hour. And I'm just like, yeah, but it's sexual. It's a thing for him. Uh, he wants that done. And I, and I was like, I'm not going to do that. on. I didn't want to do that on him. I was just like, what the hell? Um, and then without getting into all, I mean, that's such a, the topic is like, what the hell? So then government goes and targets women that do, do you cannot, you could do it for an entertainment purpose, but that's an entertainment purpose. This is for a predator purpose. This is for a predator purpose. The Scientologists did it for a predator purpose. But, again, nobody can make you do something against your will in that context of that. But, they can take advantage of you while you're relaxed. And then, like, hey. <laughs> but there's more in it because he says some stuff. Oh my god, this story's like, what the hell? This is in France, isn't it? Because they were raping all the kids in France. I didn't even know all this information till like, I don't know, the last couple of years or so. I didn't even know they were, I mean, I knew like, I don't know, there was a lot of stuff, but I didn't even know their laws were that low. And I don't know. It's just, it's just disgusting. I like these French people. The French psycho, psychoanalysis and media personality Gerard Miller is being investigated by French prosecutors over allegations of rape and sexual assault, including a minor's. Now, what do you consider minors? Because Fran France, 
didn't they like some 13 year old i uh, you know what i mean it's like what what is your can what, what do you consider minors okay they do this to us all the time and then have to go check the country and figure out like what they who they consider as a minor it could be 12 it could be 16 it could be 15 and it could be under 18. it should be under 18 at a minimum i mean at a damn minimum as more women make claims in a documentary that he had sought to meet teenagers in the studio audiences of TV shows and invited them to his home. Oh, I mean, isn't he like every man? They all want a human trafficking ring. I told you, like, all these guys, all these guys. I judge them by their friends. Uh-huh. Please do. Because that's the truth of it. They're the ones coming out going, don't judge me because I'm hanging out with 10 million human traffickers. I mean, what the hell? How would I know that? Oh, because I'm in it. Oh, and I do that too. Oh, that's why I didn't see a problem with this guy. Oh, yeah, we all do that. <laughs> okay, so prosecutors launch an investigation after receiving six complaints against the 75-year-old rape, uh, rape or assault between 95 and 2005. Hey, and they were able to go back to the 90s and before 2005, LEPD. The accusations are latest of a string made against powerful men in French film and television by women who are minors in or late teens at the time of the alleged offense. I'm starting to get a little annoyed by it against powerful men. Um, like when they start saying like celebrity men or whatever like that, it's all men. Any man feels like they're in a position, they are in a position of power above all women anyway, and wherever they're at. It could be at McDonald's, dude. And and it's not just that but yeah that whole covering of like celebrities is so disgusting vomit <laughs> that whole thing that was the whole cover-up the whole time that, oh they just want to take me down you know and they're like literally raping everyone shooting people in the face and doing all this crap okay the french film and television by women who were minors or in their late teens at the time of the alleged offense the french me too movement has gained mom momentum in recent months after the actor judith accused two directors uh but i what i don't know uh jack was dillion i don't know uh of sexual assault while was a teenager and made a plea to the industry to examine its attitudes both men have denied the allegations Okay, but you can't just target, like, the industry's attitudes. I'm targeting male supremacy altogether. It's their mindset from children. It's indoctrinated. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. Is France, France is, like, Christian or something? Wait, let me see. Yeah, okay. Uh, the majority, major religions practiced in France include Christianity, about 50% of the overall population, and its denominations include Catholicism, Protestantism, okay, so da, 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 Islam. Uh, everything bad. Uh, hi Hinduism. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Male supremacists. Okay. But they're mostly Christian. I just want to make it clear. So we all know what we're tackling over here. Cause that's that, what that means is, and their children were indoctrinated into that particular thing. So they taught them to be male supremacists and tell women what to do and rape some kids. Like basically that's the whole bottom line of it and be slaves, uh, slave owners and everything else. Okay. I believe they just changed. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's different. See? Okay, the minimum age of consent in France is 15. Okay, and I believe it may have been different a little bit ago. Um, so when they're talking about minors, they're literally talking about like 14. Okay, they're not even going like under 18. They're like, oh, 14. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. Yeah, they're disgusting. Okay. And then I pulled up that video, right, of the model when she was talking to David Letterman. She's like, yeah, I'm France. Uh, when I went, yeah, that thing. Okay, so it's totally connected to this garbage right here. Like, literally, she could come out today, like, right now, and then finally out, like, all those people that did whatever horrible thing, and it'll be, uh, I wish these women would, like, they would just come back. I know there's just a lot of, like, oh, my God, I don't even, with this. In a documentary, Envoy Special, something broadcast on France 2 television on Thursday night. I want to see this. Is it French? Okay, so one woman alleged Miller had raped her and another made an assault allegation. 
Several women had previously spoken to Elle magazine, which broke the story, and to the investigative website Media Part. Charlotte described in the documentary how one day she was 15 and she was walking with her best friend past the studio where a chat show with Miller was being recorded. And they were told the producers needed people for the audience, so we thought it'd be fun. And particularly focused on me and my friend, and she took us to his dressing room. And I didn't feel a risk. Like, he was a public personality. And a few days later, he called me and said, come to my office. We'll have lunch. And then once there, she said he gave her a drink and she blacked out. Okay, so now we got a Cosby thing. So, yeah, with the hypnosis thing, it is really similar to um, the rape fantasy. Because what they want to do is be able to uh, do whatever they want to you um, against your will and being zoned out. For entertainment stuff, they want... Okay, so then there's some of these guys that want you to control them. And that, it's all fake. Okay, it's all fake. But in those cases, it's consensual. Here, um, knocking somebody out is literally not consensual. And then it's all she said. She And who would knock anybody out? Just, you want to be a Bill Cosby. And she said she did not know how long she blacked out for. I just find it disgusting that these men want to be with women that have to be, like, almost dead. For them to be with them. You should go and rape them and shit. That's psychotic. It's psychotic. Okay. So how long she blacked out for. But when she regained awareness. I was on my stomach. And he was standing over me. And my trousers were around my ankle. And she said when someone rang the doorbell. She managed to get dressed and ran out the door. Okay. So then uh, they said they were investigating her allegation. Another woman uh, who was 19. Said uh, she was with a friend to be in the studio audience of a tv show and asked miller for an autograph and for for her father miller then in his 50s invited her to see his show he was producing she said he offered to show her how hypnosis worked it was a trap closed around me yeah i go isn't that crazy I, that's why i've been bringing up the hypnosis thing i go i don't think people really understand this world of things how like I went into a school to learn it for therapy reasons, right? But I knew other girls used it for entertainment and went to that school. And then all of a sudden, all these like creepazoids started coming out and like demanding that I do this to them, including a lawyer. And then you see Nygaard's pals over there at the school because they had interactions with them. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, can somebody explain what the hell is going on here? Like, what the hell? And then government targets us and starts saying, you can't do this anymore. Like, it's my fault that some guys are a bunch of rapists, like, doing this. I don't think you guys really understand this problem here. And then they think they think that you could do something against somebody's will with that thing. Um, no, like I explained at the beginning. No, uh, but he's going to do something here. Watch. Uh, so she said in the documentary, and she made a police complaint of rape. Okay, Miller, so he got her, that was the trap. Okay, that's a trap. He used it as a trap. And then, uh, writers from Elle magazine have said women first came forward to them after Miller appeared on a chat show in January to discuss accusations of rape and sexual assault against actor Gerard, who denies his allegations. So Miller told the chat show that Me Too has been revolutionary about how proud he felt that French women were speaking out. Don't you love this? They have no mirror. They literally don't. Because what they, when somebody talks like that, they, they, it's one of two things. They just totally think it's normal of them being a rapist. And they're just so oblivious because those are the idiots that come out and go, what? I totally human trafficked my friend out to this older guy. Like they're so dumb. You know what I mean? Like they're just... Oh, that's human trafficking? I Oh, I'm, a, I'm an abuser? Are you telling me I'm an abuser? You know, this shit. You know, or it's just them trying to put a front up. Like, we're so innocent. Holy shit. Like, he's like saying that, like to push it off. Like, yes, these women are wonderful. <laughs> you know, shit. You know, one of those two things. Uh, upon seeing Miller praising me too, the first woman came forward to Elle magazine and said Miller had attempted to hypnotize and sexually assault her. So in total, about 50 women contacted Elle, holy crap, and a uh, media part to describe what one called a well-oiled predatory system under which he targeted teenage girls and young women. Some of those women alleged he had assaulted or raped them. 
Okay, so in a written response, Miller denied the allegations. I've always assured myself of the consent of women that I spent time with. I refute in the most categorical way of any allegations of sexual assault, and particularly any allegations of rape. Okay, I've never practiced hypnosis. Okay, wait, this was the best part I was reading this part. You guys like this. I have never practiced hypnosis, neither in my office or with patients. Okay, yeah, but, okay. No, uh, nor, nor more generally at home. You're like, what? Never. It was always simple conversations and playful moments of recreation. Okay, so now he's talking about, oh, this is my fetish kink here. I got, I asked the girl. Okay, so he legit, he did ask the girl, right, on this part. Uh, do you want to, do you, hypnosis, come to my house. Okay, so he's kind of going off of that portion right there, right? Okay, okay. Um, those who accepted were absolutely not hypnotized and stayed perfectly conscious, able to interrupt the game at any instant well actually hypnosis isn't really a game but if you're doing it in a king sort of way then you don't actually do like real like like a clinical hypnosis type of thing because it is totally different um where they start doing that okay so for what he probably did like, like swinging a thing i don't know what the hell he did but that in it of itself would not be the thing to get him to rape them it's him getting them relaxed and I don't know what the next moves were here, but he's trying to say like, that's all I did right there. I asked them to come over and they agreed to do hypnosis. Okay. But then they didn't agree to have sex with you, dude. They didn't agree to do any of the shit. Right. So you see that problem right there. So he's trying to be like, they came over dude. you know what I mean? Like on allegations by some women that they blacked out okay see the blackout thing see it's not hypnosis he got him to black out i don't know what the hell he gave him some drugs he gave him some shit but he goes like this miller said in the statement no one has ever found themselves in my home incapable of reacting not after drinking anything okay so if somebody's drunk they would not be incapable like what'd you do He's like, or in any other circumstance, not after drinking anything. So, okay, he admits to giving some drinks. So, I mean, if somebody's drunk and you did something, it's rape, dude. He, he wants to sit there and say, nope, they're not incapable. I don't care if she had 20 beers. She's not incapable of leaving. Yeah, so there's the addition and what was going on here. So, I would never have imagined that meeting me at one moment or another of their life would have given women such negative memories and that their memories and mine could differ to this extent. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm supposed to be a rapist. I'm supposed to be a rapist. He's a total sociopath. Oh my God. Everybody from that that's like 70 plus is like an automatic child rapist. Okay. Cause I don't even need to hear their bullshit. Um, but the Gen X is awful. And then at the time, yeah, in the 90s. So in the 90s, or the late 80s and the 90s, when that one model was talking, yeah, it was totally like this. And the men, like what she's telling, like, uh, what's his name? <laughs> like his name just totally flew out my brain. Letterman. I'm like, Letterman. Oh, God. Okay, so when they were telling Letterman, Letterman was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to totally, like, sexualize you right before we're going to start talking about a serious topic called rape and then he's like oh well you know <laughs> uh, yeah I, that was just that's all of them they're oblivious they don't care they see us as objects they don't care about us as humans and he's just sitting there like oh yeah i don't even know what his bullshit is here he's like i never practiced hypnosis yeah, so basically, he's just like, I use the hypnosis thing. I don't even do it. I just use it to lure some children to my house and give them some drinks and knock them out and then rape them. But I just want to make it clear about the hypnosis thing. Like, I cannot, you cannot, like, put somebody under and make them do some robotic shit unless they wanted to do it to begin with, okay? Um, yeah, I wish, because if we could do that, men be human. Be human. Stop being piles of shit. Rapists. Stop being human traffickers. 
when you wake up, you're going to be a non-socio anymore. Yeah, I wish we could do that. I mean, that would be the most awesome thing ever. I would, I would be freaking loaded. I mean, this would be the great go, go, go. I, no, I don't want to say it. Um, but yeah, no, you can't, but you could relax them enough and trick them. And then they did that. He's doing something in their drinks and shit. I want to see this documentary. These documentaries are pretty good. It just tells us, like, I told you, they're all rapists. We all knew they're all rapists. They kept saying, bring your friends with you outside. We're all monsters. And then and then you go listen to them, right? Oh, we need to be monsters to be men. I'm like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Hmm. Okay, but they're indoctrinated, okay? And everybody in this age range, like the night guards and everybody, they're just child rapists. They were all raping kids. And most of these countries were allowing them to rape children at that time. So to them, it's just normal being a swine. And they never listen to us. They trash us the whole time. They run us over and then sit there and start saying like, the reason that you didn't make it in your career is because you suck. No, that's not what happened. That is absolutely, that never happened. And I was talking about how stupid that is. I'm like, who would sit there and deal with somebody that sucked for like 10 years? No, you, no. I don't even care if you were just a predator. No one's going to do that. And, um... Yeah, there was a lot to it. I go, no, it was a vile, evil thing. I go, in certain careers, um, everybody's very helpful with each other. They help everybody out. Like, they help them to the top every because nobody's a competition. Competition is in your own brain. Each person is their own individual human. We all create our own artwork. We, d we are not the same. But men see us as a threat, and they want to bogart the entire table of life. And it's going to come back on them. And then they like, like their whole MO right now is like, I want to be remembered forever for what a great human I am and my talents and blah, blah, blah. But the great thing about this is in history, in history, um, eventually they will be brushed off and forgotten because of how horrible of a monster they've been. You may not see it right now, but as time goes on, they get a look back and they're like, wow, what monsters? And then you just forget about them. So they're a bunch of bullshit. All of them going on like this. They ran women over. This guy's like, I'm going to just prey on children and use hypnosis to come to my... It's just a lure. It's just a kidnapping. It. You could look at it as kidnapping because he's basically like... The, he says he doesn't really practice it, but he wanted to use it as a, as a MO to go rape a kid. So the hypnosis is kind of like a nothing in the story. It's like, I'm using it to go rape a kid. It's the carrot. It's the dangling carrot. And that's how they prey on women. And they taught women to, men to do that. And women were supposed to be like, oh, how romantic. And that means that he really likes you. Because that came up in my head too. Like when they used to say that shit. That means he really likes you. Oh, when the boys are like being shitty to you, they're like, that means they're flirting when they're being abusive, domestic violence, pieces of crap. They're all, that means they're flirting when they're throwing rocks at your head and they push you off a bike. That means they like you. Do you guys remember that? That's fucking insanity, isn't it? 